and welcome to the Mike Les Farmhand Mike YouTube channel, bringing you some of the biggest and best variety and definitely the most versatile farming content on social media today. You can find me on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Farmhand Mike. When you're running combine and have that view over there, that's just pretty awesome. That's almost as awesome as watching that Mike Les guy on YouTube. That is one good looking tractor and grain cart. Hey everyone, in this video I am out in the field in southwest Kansas, Stanton County, near Johnson City. You are going to see two self-propelled forage harvesters direct cutting a sorghum silage or milo that will be used for cattle feed. First up is a Crone Big X 700 self-propelled forage harvester with a Crone X Disc 620 direct cut head. Also in this video is a Kloss Jaguar 970 self-propelled forage harvester with a Kloss Direct Disc 600 header. Now the crop that they are cutting here, uh, sorghum, silage, milo, whatever you want to call it, this is a little different version than the grain version that I've had videos of guys combining with. This is a taller version, so this is used more for silage. It still has the head of grain at the end of it, but there's a lot more mass, a lot more feed here. Now this makes a great alternative for corn silage and in an area like this in Kansas where they only get about 18 inches of rain a year, this is just a good crop that does good in drought conditions and uses water more efficiently than corn. One of the disadvantages I read though is the digestibility here for cattle is not as good as corn. Now you can see the irrigation pivot tracks in the field. You will see a center pivot in the background of some parts of this video. So I'm guessing that they do irrigate this, but this area is very regulated on how much water they can pump out of the aquifer per year. So again, this is going to make a great alternative crop instead of corn in this area. Now these direct cut heads on the forage harvesters you see here in the video are not real popular in the United States. They use a lot of them over in Europe. In fact, this is only the second time I've actually been in the field with one here in the United States. Both the crone and the cloth header are taking about a 20 foot width cut. And you can see a lot of this crop is blown down, but they're doing an exceptional job picking it up, feeding it into the forage harvester, and then into the truck. Both machines, the Kloss comes in around 800 horsepower and the Crone Big X is rated around 775 horsepower. Now I did not have a lot of time when I was here so I only have drone footage of both machines running and I was not able to get back to the farm where they were hauling the silage too. I was not able to get a close up shot of what the head looks like underneath. However, it's a series of rotor discs just like a disc mower conditioner has for mowing hay and forage. The other video I did with a direct cut head a couple years ago in Indiana, I did get an underneath look of the header. So I'll put the link to that video at the end of this one so you can check it out if you're curious. But it does have, like I said, the series of discs and it has an auger in here to feed that forage into the cutter head of the self-propelled forage harvester.
that's going to wrap up this video. But one thing I do want to point out, I do get a lot of comments on some of these silage videos because guys are missing the truck with the chopper and so forth. There's a lot going on here when you're running one of these self-propelled forage harvesters, watching the machine, watching the crop go in, where you're driving and so forth, and watching the spout is hitting the truck. Now, you know, you got the wind as a factor always here. The other thing, too, is you hit one little bump in the field, and that spout changes or flexes, moves a little bit. You're going to miss the truck in spots like that, or it's going to flow over. And sometimes there's guys that just plain miss the truck. But, you know, there's a lot going on here, so I did want to explain that because that is a number one comment I get on these videos. Anyways, feel free to hit that like button, comment below, and if you are new to my YouTube channel, please go down there and hit that subscribe button and check back often as I still have a lot of farming content from last season to edit and bring to my YouTube channel. And if you want to see more of what I'm doing, you can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at FarmHandMike. And as always, thanks for watching and supporting my social media.